Hey everyone, um, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the powerful shift in the way you actually get things done. Not just thinking, but doing, and it's called Model Context Protocol or MCP. And it, it might be just be the secret sauce that turns uh, smart AI into actually a useful AI. Uh, you have probably seen AI agents summarize, report, record, even chat like a human. But when it comes to real world action, like saving a file, querying a database or transcribing video, they hit a wall. And what is the reason? And if, if you find the reason, because most of the tools still need some custom one-off uh, integrations, right? And that's why we have NCP and it, it is changing that. So developed by the Entropic, if you know Entropic is uh, quite popular now, the team behind the cloud. And uh, this this opened up a standard that gives EA a universal plug to connect with tools, apps, and data. And then let's break it into uh, three parts. One is like, let's let's say, if we need to know the standard definition of NCP, um, we call it a protocol that built, uh, that is built for your agents. And uh, MCP is like a universal translator between your agents and tools, and it's still creating unique integrations for every new task. You can connect once, and the agent understands how to use the tool. Before NCP, doing something simple, like save this as a text file, involve API calls, and hand it a logic, and then hours of their time. So with MCP, it's just plug and play. And then we need to know how it works, right? So here's a core flow, like the agent um, makes a request via the MCP client, and that request goes to an MCP server, which acts like an adapter for a tool. And then that server talks to the real world services like GitHub, file system, YouTube, any other tool, like etc. So the result is sent back to through the same pipeline and initially formatted inner handle and ready to book. And all of this happens through the MCP protocol, the structure, JSON based communication system, you can call it. And then if we need to work the second part, let's understand the MCP architecture that involves the clients and the servers and the protocol itself. So the EIS gateway, a gateway we can call MCP clients as the EIS gateway, right? So the MCP clients live inside your AI system. Think like cloud, cursor, or provider. They translate agent actions into MCP requests, handle messaging and errors, and pass the results back to the AI. For example, cloud can use the client to fetch a spreadsheet, and then cursor can ask the client to run a dev command in your local IDE. All this through an MCP. Uh, so as so an MCP server, let's understand what is MCP server. So if we can call it a smart tool adapter, so MCP servers are where the magic happens. They act as the translators between what the AI wants and what the tool expects. So for example, a GitHub server handles pull requests. Uh, I'm sorry, a file server writes and reads local files. A YouTube server transcribes video links. And a service also like tell the AI what actions are supposed to be uh, there, uh, and, and then um, format results cleanly. And also it, it handles the error feedback and then the last part is like the instant protocol. This is a structured and flexible and scalable part. So the protocol itself ensures the clean and standardized communication. Okay, this is very important. And the key points are like, it, it uses a JSON for consistent formatting uh, that is quite universal and then works locally or even over the internet. Um, let the EA interact with the tools uh, it has never seen before and it still know how to use them. But, so let, let's now have an example. I will be using a line flow. You already know what is line flow. So I will be, um, Maybe I will create one flow, and then I will um, use that line flow entire thing and connect it with a uh, cursor because the cursor will act like an NCB client, and line flow itself will be um, acting like a NCB server. Okay, so whatever flow I have in that line flow, let's have ten flows. Everything can be accessed via cursor. So let's wait for it. It's uh, template flow template, which is called Christ Finder. As you can see, I'm using a uh, line flow local to show that this line for entire line code can be um, used as a, as a MCP server. And to do that, we have, we have a great tutorial for here. Uh, just remember that like, I'm not using line flow uh, mm -hmm. like MCP as a component, but rather I'm using a simple line flow and then I will be using the inter line for how to use it as a MCP server. So for that, I have used this, um, like you said, in CP, as a price in the binder. For that, you need the engine keyword equipment, which is free, then just click, click on it, and it will open a new window. Um, and then for opening the APT here, for you need to buy the APT, otherwise you can use any of the uh, LM. And the table, yeah, it's so GPT. This is also three, so you can maybe try this. And I have just uh, added the API keys for the corresponding uh, boxes and components and all. And then let's say, having tried this flow, and let's say find the best 
price for iPhone 16 uh, 120 HTB in platforms like Amazon Bindia or Flipkart. Okay, that you do it, do it job. And I just want to show you here put that this is slow actually. Okay. Stopping your flow, what is stopping? Explain this is a system for body. I don't know. Yeah, I see it's everything it's working. That's it for the previous um prompt. Maybe uh for agent QL they portal they will see the snake of login by Google and then Google and maybe GitHub and then you will see it. And uh till it's been done, so it's it there we are, we got it. They say different prices for I would say so on and if you white and then black and then pink and other colors and some additional information. So the things that in the flow works really well. But now I going to access this flow uh from PSG. Uh, sorry, uh, from Carson. To do that, I need to use this JSON and then come to Cursor, go to the settings, and there's something called MCP. When you open it, you will not be seeing this. If you need to add a new global uh, MCB server, and you will probably see MCB server and then MCB. Before, because I have already this bishop, so that's why I could say it here. Uh, now I will do, I, I will try to access that what it's called that flow from person. Let's say I was trying this find out smartphones with the bench of this. Yeah, so as you can see, this um this prompt which I used for find out smartphones with the bench of 20,000 to 35,000, what it did it, uh, it requested the incident tool. Uh and here we have the sensitive tool. Uh, sorry, incident itself uh, uh this land flow. And then the, the C was the price of Finder flow, um, where we used Stability and uh, other with uh, an open DA. Where is it? Here you can see. So this component and Stability here, such component and one agent. Let me give you the results. So you can see the one plus Samsung Galaxy, Steel, me and there's a few more options. Um, here here we the in the data. We can do the same thing for Claude for that you need to install it and then go by this uh, feature. I use the great documentation you can use it and maybe you use any other uh, MCP server's component 